Hello everybody, welcome at Abhimanyu IS, the leader in the preparation for the UPSC and state civil services examinations, which has produced more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years since its beginning in 1999. My name is Dr. H.S. Sidhu. I am in Abhimanyu IS mein international relations and Indian economy teach karta hu. I have been mentoring civil services aspirants for more than 15 years and I have authored many books also for the UPSC and state civil services exam preparation. Abhi Abhimanyu IS mein humne concepts se related ek nai series start ki hai. Is series mein mein international politics and relations and Indian economy se related concepts leta hoon at what is diplomacy, what is the difference between the foreign policy and uh, diplomacy. This is what we will discuss in today's top uh, concept. So, pehle mein ek example se baat start karni chahunga. Ye jo do maps aap dekh rahe ho, ye US ka map hai and this is a map of uh, China. Okay. And uh, First of all, uh, as far as this example is concerned, I would like to share with you that uh, in 1949, we all know that uh, a revolution took place in China. The Communist Party of China came to power by defeating the Chiang Kai-shek's forces and uh, People's Republic of China was established in mainland China and uh, Chiang Kai-shek with his remaining forces moved to Taiwan and established rule there. Uh, US didn't recognize the People's Republic of China but instead cooperated with Chiang Kai-shek's in Taiwan. And uh, the later in 1970s, the US considered establishing relations with People's Republic of China. Why? To take advantage of the increasingly troubled relations between the China and the Soviet Union at that time and uh, to weaken the link between China and Vietnam amid the Vietnam War. You know, Vietnam War was started in 1955 and it continued till 1975. Okay. So, uh, 1949 mein China ki uh, PRC ki establishment hoti hai, People's Republic of China ki, lekin uh, US ne People's Republic of China ko support nahi kiya, but it uh, uh, cooperated with Shanghai Sheikh's uh, government in Taiwan. In 1970s, uh, US uh, thought that uh, it would be beneficial to uh, establish relations with China. And uh, that is why several initiatives were taken. Both sare initiative lay, liye gaye. US and Chinese governments commenced the secret talks as well. And uh, in an international ping pong tournament, the US and Chinese players exchanged gifts. Ping pong table tennis tournament was there. So the players of both the countries exchanged gifts and the teams of the two countries visited each other's countries as well. And then uh, US President uh, Richard M. Nixon traveled to China in 1972. Dono countries ke leaders gift exchange karte hai. US ke jo president hai, wo China ko uh, kaun sa gift dete hai? Musk auction dete hai. And uh, China US ko kya deta hai? Two pandas deta hai. So the gifts were exchanged and uh, then ultimately uh, US recognized the People's Republic of China under President Jimmy Carter. Okay. So, बहुत सारे लोग ये सोचते होंगे कि ping pong diplomacy, जब ping pong tournament and वो जो gift exchange की ये musk auction and pandas, उनका क्या role है? Okay. So, actually ये दोनों चीजों ने वो role play किया जो weapons and wars नहीं करते थे, because they helped thaw the ice between the two countries and finally the diplomacy worked. This is what we mean by diplomacy because every country has its uh, national interests uh, and every country wants to influence the other countries uh, uh, to serve its national interests. Okay? So there are uh, basically two ways of uh, 
influencing the other country to to serve your national interest what are those two ways one way is that you can go for war use weapons you can become violent and second is you can win or influence the others countries through the peaceful means also okay through the peaceful means also okay so when you try to influence the other countries to serve your national interests by the peaceful means instead of the violence in and war so that is what we mean by the diplomacy okay the peaceful means may be coercive may be non coercive as well so uh, that makes no difference uh, but you must bear this in mind ke kisi country ko influence karne ke liye kisi country ke paas do options hain one is to use weapons and go for war and the second is uh, to influence the other countries behavior by the peaceful means though coercive or non coercive means non violent means ke sath so jab aap kisi country ke behavior ko non violent means use karke influence karte ho to that is uh, what we mean by the diplomacy so so this is the diplomacy so what is diplomacy then it is a term very commonly used while studying while studying foreign policy and international relations diplomacy can be defined as the conduct of international relations by conduct of uh, international relations by negotiation and dialogue or by any other means uh, to promote peaceful relations among the states so diplomacy may हमारा जो प्राइमरी कंसर्न क्या रहता है टू प्रमोट द पीसफुल रिलेशंस टू इन्फ्लुएंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ द अदर कंट्री एंड टू सर्व यूर नेशनल इंटरेस्ट बट यस दिस इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी डू दिस बाय द पीसफुल मींस ओनली वायोलेंस वॉर वेपन्स आर नॉट यूज्ड हियर द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ डिप्लोमेसी इज टू अफेक्ट अदर कंट्रीज बिहेवियर टू एडवांस वन ओन नेशनल इंटरेस्ट सो वट आर द टूल्स ऑफ डिप्लोमेसी सो डिप्लोमेसी में बहुत सारे टूल्स होते हैं ट्रीटीज कन्वेंशन अलायंसेज रिकॉर्ड सॉफ्ट पावर इकनॉमिक सेंक्शन फॉरन असिस्टेंस ट्रेड पॉलिसी आर्म्ड फोर्सेज एंड जस्ट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नॉट टू गो फॉर वॉर technological assistance debt trends arms control peacekeeping missions covert action and climate action etc and uh, diplomacy versus foreign policy diplomacy is often confused with the foreign policy many people who are the layman persons they uh, consider that uh, diplomacy and foreign policy are the similar terms but no these are two different terms basically डिप्लोमेसी इज़ वन ऑफ द सेवरल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑफ द फॉरन पॉलिसी क्योंकि किसी कंट्री की फॉरन पॉलिसी में बहुत सारे इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स होते हैं वन ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स कैन बी वेपन्स वॉर वायोलेंस एंड द अदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स कैन बी पीसफुल मीन्स दो अलायंस सेंक्शंस एंड ट्रीटीज एग्रीमेंट्स एंड सो राइट सो जो हम सेकेंड वाला जो इंस्ट्रूमेंट है जिसमें हम नॉन वायोलेंट एंड नॉन वार नॉन वेपन्स मेजर्स एक्सरसाइज करते हैं टू इन्फ्लुएंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ ए कंट्री दैट इज वॉट वी मीन बाय द डिप्लोमेसी टू कंक्लूड डिप्लोमेसी इज द प्रिंसिपल सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर द यूज ऑफ फोर्सेस अगेंस्ट ए कंट्री ओके हमारे पास जैसे मैंने पहले बात की है किसी कंट्री के बिहेवियर को इन्फ्लुएंस करने के लिए दो वेज हैं एक वे है वॉर दूसरा वे है पीस ओके सो वेन यू प्रेफर पीस ओवर द वॉर टू इन्फ्लुएंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ सम अदर कंट्री दैट इज वॉट वी से डिप्लोमेसी इट इज हाउ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव नेशनल पावर इज अप्लाइड टू द पीसफुल एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द स्टेट्स ओके सो स्टेट्स के बीच में डिफरेंसेस होते हैं उन डिफरेंसेस को रिजॉल्व करने के लिए राइट right? जब हम कहते हैं कि हम डिप्लोमेसी एक्सरसाइज करते हैं हम डिप्लोमेटिक वेज के थ्रू अपने डिफरेंसेस को रिजॉल्व कर रहे हैं दैट मींस वी आर नॉट प्रेफरिंग टू गो फॉर वॉर वी आर नॉट प्रेफरिंग टू यूज वेपन्स 
okay we are not preferring to use violent measures instead we are preferring to use the other measures such as negotiations confidence building measures treaties agreements so etc etc right so it may be coercive but is overtly non violent ye coercive zarur ho sakta hai kisi ke upar दबाव डालने के लिए बट ये नॉन वायोलेंट रहता है राइट right? सो so, अगर आप कोई युद्ध अभ्यास करते हो सो so उसका मकसद ये नहीं होता कि वी विल गो फॉर वॉर विद अदर कंट्री उसका मकसद ये होता है कि वी आर यूजिंग द यू कैन से क्वेरसिव मेजर्स टू इन्फ्लुएंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ एन अदर कंट्री सो दिस इज वॉट वी मीन बाय दैट सो दिस वॉज द entire concept related with the diplomacy i hope this concept will be clear to you now diplomacy kya hai diplomacy ke tools kon kon se hain diplomacy and foreign policy mein kya difference hai so this is what we discussed in this particular uh, video okay so next time i will uh, see you uh, with uh, some other topic which will be uh, very much useful for your upsc and state civil services examinations thank you very much all the best take care